The Russian military launched an airstrike near the Maidan Heroi of Nebesnoi Sotny. One of the rockets fell near Kharkiv District Prosecutor's Office. The Ukrainian military counted four funnels. Neighboring houses are damaged or almost completely destroyed. The premises of Kharkiv Court of Appeal, Sloboda District Prosecutor's Office and Kharkiv Zonal Department of the Military Law Enforcement Service were also partially destroyed, the Regional Prosecutor's Office said. According to preliminary information, one person died and several were injured. The evacuation from Irpin in Kyiv region continues. People are being transferred under a collapsed bridge. Also, by 4 p.m., a humanitarian corridor will have been opened to cross the Irpin River in the village of Ognatyevka towards the village of Bilohorodka. To remind, on March the 4th, the military of the Russian Federation fired at Irpin, despite evacuation of the population. The number of dead and wounded in Kyiv region is currently unknown. Volunteers stop working in Bucha. On March the 3rd, the cars of volunteers who were trying to deliver food to the city were shot there. Authorities in the region say many people remain in basements, with Russian troops taking hostages and killing both adults and children. On the night of March the 7th, the Ukrainian military managed to destroy 30 Russian helicopters based at Chernobyevka airfield near Russian-occupied Kherson. This was reported by the Marine Forces Command. Besides, on March the 6th, on approaches to Mykolaiv, the Ukrainian military destroyed three enemy columns. Residents of Enerhodar said final goodbye to the Ukrainian military man who died during the storming of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant on the night of March the 3rd and the 4th. Three military men of the National Guard, Yevhen Ukolov, Mikhailo Frolikov and Yuri Kvach, were killed in the battles for the nuclear power plant. It should be noted that on March the 3rd, during another attempt of the civilian population not to let the Russian troops into Enerhodar, Occupiers used the weapon against people. During the attempt to break through, a fight broke out at the checkpoint. Russian troops managed to break through the defenses at the checkpoint, after which they stormed the Parisian nuclear power plant and captured it. British volunteers go to Ukraine to help the Ukrainian army in the fight against the Russian occupiers. Foreigners say they are well prepared and want to stop Russia's aggression. Most of us are ex-military, so we're all uh, very well trained. And the motivation is obviously the war crimes that are being committed shouldn't be committed, you know. It's bombing civilian targets, executing civilians, raping females. Uh, it shouldn't happen and it needs to be stopped.